Hello Scorpios. I'm going to be doing a daily reading for you, for your collective, for Tuesday, January 30th. I'm going to see what is in your collective's energy for Tuesday, January 30th, for the Scorpio Collective. Let's see, this wanted to pop out. And this wanted to pop out. But anyway, we're not dealing with those. If they really, really want to pop out, then they will pop out, right? <laughs> Let's see what messages I have for you, Scorpios. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Well, obviously you're waiting on something. I almost feel if all of these are the same energy, it's like you're tired of being single. <laughs> and you want your wealth, your family and wealth to come in now. Uh, but with these readings, I'm actually seeing if they are three distinct energies. I'm not reading them per se as uh, a grouping like that. Yes. My little cat got all excited though. She must sense some good Scorpio energy coming your way. Let's see this Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Okay, I'm going to take these away for a second. Let's dive into this a little bit more and see for our Scorpios what is this. If I was looking at this and reading... Well, I'm going to do one card clarifications on these. Let's see. We can do it. We can do it and still have a short reading. Ace of Cups for the Six of Pentacles. Lovers, yes, where is your family? You are waiting for it. Your love. <laughs> okay. So this is indeed uh, that energy here with um, the Ten of Pentacles Scorpio Collective. There's impatience here. I don't think it's warranted though. Or maybe what I should say is that whoever, if you do have a love interest in mind, and I'm saying that because we have the two of wands here, Scorpios. If you have a love interest in mind, you may feel that this person is taking a ridiculously long time to commit to you. You, Scorpio, have decided, okay, you know, I like you, we vibe, we're a match, let's, let's get on with it. And this person is delaying the commitment for some reason. With the lovers clarifying the Ten of Swords, you may feel kind of hopeless, either on this particular connection, this person who won't extend their, their, eight, their cup to you, this person you're thinking about in this Two of Wands mode. You could be thinking, oh, just getting a little despondent about your relationship status and actually realizing um, you know a solid family commitment here that's what I'm getting from this it's not per se like the love is over but you're feeling that way especially since this individual is still going around conducting business as usual but they're not offering you that cup It's not a done deal, though. And I feel this is what this Knight of Cups is, all, is representing here. 
together in this energy. This is a mindset, but this is a mindset that still is clarifying this relationship that you hope to be realized. Scorpios. The person on your mind, the person who you're considering for this relationship, um, they have not, not to say the word disqualified, but they have not like disqualified you from being that romantic partner. They're just taking their sweet, very sweet, very prolonged time about it. And I say it's sweet and long and prolonged because we have the Ten of Swords. Obviously, you've waited. You've waited long enough for what you think is long enough. For this person in, on your mind, Scorpio, this is not long enough for them. And they're still considering you. That's what I see here. Okay, so take that energy number one as it resonates with, um, I see, impatientness to go and realize a love connection. It may be taking a long time, yes, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening, even if it's happening in very, very, very slow motion, okay? It's advice number one. For this two of wands, let's clarify. For Scorpio's death. Yes, this looks connected to the first one, world. I'm not going to clarify this one, Scorpio, because this energy feeds into the, um, the Ten of Pentacles. And I'll be doing these readings regularly for you. <laughs> so we'll, we'll be checking in on them. But basically, you're waiting on the, the Two of Cups, uh, excuse me, the Two of Wands energy. Again, you're waiting for this uh, King of Cups, whether it's male or female, take it as it resonates. The individual that you're thinking of in this romantic um, top position, <laughs> top consideration for you, who's taking forever to come forward and to actually make some sign that your relationship will kickstart off. That's what I'm feeling here. This is just you waiting. And um, the energy of waiting is going to follow you in Tuesday, tomorrow, okay? <laughs> so that's, that's all this is. Waiting, keep up the good uh, good vibes. Nothing is, 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 is um, you know, ending or anything, but nothing exactly will progress either. It just is what it is, right? And for the final energy with this Nine of Pentacles... Let's see if this is the Scorpio collective or we're dealing with um, waiting on this relationship. Two of Swords, the Fool. Yeah, you just really want to get going. And that's what these energies tell me, Scorpio. You're just tired of waiting. Tired of being in one spot. You just want to get out there. So, the message that I'm getting for you, Scorpios, is this, the, the message today for you is a love advice. Um, don't feel so impatient that whoever you have your eye on is not moving at the pace that you would like. After all, what you do want is the Ten of Pentacles. You want something permanent. Um, long-lasting legacy building that is um, for some people they, they they could have to move like you know five times slower <laughs> to like commit to something like that and in the meantime although you may feel like you want this to be done or realized like yesterday I would say just enjoy your single life that's what I'm seeing here okay uh, I'll be back for another reading shortly for you, Scorpios. Let me know if this resonates. Like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'm a new channel. I've been around for almost a week. 
and I intend to go and put out regular videos for um, the community on a variety of subjects, as many as I can. Or uh, I take requests too, so if there's anything specifically that you'd like to go and see for Scorpios, like maybe you want me to read for like different months, um, or different subjects, uh, new love, um, career, school, what have you. Um, relatives, whatever. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment and let me know. I'm open to suggestions and I, um, I'm excited about doing this. Thank you very much for your time today. Bye-bye. Speak to you soon.